Hello, everyone. Yay, welcome to class. I am teacher Sam from England. Uh, let's introduce ourselves. Let's give a brief introduction. Uh, say your name and where you come from and uh, just the one interesting fact like a hobby or what what you do so Faustin sorry how do you pronounce your name yeah my name is Faustin Faustin yeah uh, I'm from Guangzhou China uh, and my hobby is uh, watching movie and traveling great yeah nice to meet thank you. you that's all okay thanks nice to meet you too hi Lee can you introduce yourself uh, okay hi Sam and uh, hi everybody my name is Lee Xiaobo Chinese name uh, you can just call me Lee I live in Beijing I come from the Hanai Prophecy and uh, uh, I started my own business one of one of my hobbies yeah. is uh, uh, swimming. I like swimming. Oh, great! Yeah, that's great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Joy. Hi, uh, hi, guys. I'm Joy. I'm from Anshu, China, the west part of Hubei province, and I like reading and doing exercise. And traveling with my son in my spare time. Thank you. Good. That's great. Nice to meet you. Cece, this is the third time. <laughs> yeah, nice to see you again. Yeah, nice my to name see is Cece. I'm from Shanghai. I'm, uh, I'm learning English for work. I want to improve my spoken English. Uh, I love playing basketball. Uh, thank you. Great, great. Uh, fantastic. Uh, hi, Zhu, Zhu, and Min. Thanks for listening. Understanding new words. Wow, that totally should be very um, useful how to understand new words. So, uh, Faustin, if you don't know a word and you don't have one of these, what could you use to help you guess? Um, I will ask the, for the this verse details. Uh, so I maybe I will uh, ask my partners uh, uh, use the simple word to describing the the new word. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, can you explain? And I I also will yeah I also will uh, focus attention to the uh, body language. Maybe I I can guess the meaning. Yeah, so maybe we can say read the body, read their body language. We can. Oh yeah, read the, their body language. Okay, maybe uh, some people. And contact. And context. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so yeah on contact the whole figure sentence. Out, figure out the meaning yeah. from the context. Yeah, exactly. That is. Um, Usually we can we can figure out the meaning we can we can uh, guess the meaning from the context of the the sentence and the 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 story you know when I say story I mean the sentences the ideas Lee uh, anything else we could do uh yeah. Uh uh, this situation for me, I like uh, it depend depend on the different situation. Like if I reading mm -hmm. some yeah. English books, mm -hmm. if I meet some uh, uh, strange strange word, mm -hmm. strange word, and uh, I will uh, actually I I always use the Kindle, right? The the, the Kindle to read the book. So the Kindle have the some uh, function, function to to uh, you can you can click the words you can click the words and they have the uh, 
popped, popped to show the to show the what meaning. All right. Okay. And uh, also, yeah, also, yeah. If I don't do this, I just guess. I just guess maybe like, uh, yeah. I just uh, I just think about the how context and uh, to guess the this word meaning. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, use That's context. All. Use context. Good. Okay. So. Look at the word in bold below. What do you think it means? So, joy. You can use what we we can use. This is to use the context or um, look at the word in the bold gibberish. What do you think it means? It means uh, something uh, a kind of uh, a style. Uh, because rich ish always means a kind of style, and uh, the sentence starts from the problem with young people. Problem is a negative word. Yeah. So I figured, rich means something negative. Yeah. And I mentioned some uh, somebody speak such gibberish. So yeah. gibberish should be something we could speak out, mm. maybe a kind of language. Uh, so uh, that's all. Yeah. Okay. Good. So maybe I will expand on that. Like, ish can be a style, maybe a type, or a kind of something, such as. So yeah, that's very good that you you notice that the problem. So there, therefore, it must be negative word, and um, speak. So it's a way, perhaps a way of speaking, a negative way of speaking. Um, yeah. So it actually means nonsense or language that cannot be understood. So, but from the context, you can see it's a negative way of speaking it because it cannot be understood. It's just gibberish, blah 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 blah, or some some words you've never heard before. So, uh, so C C. Let's start with you. Look at these expressions, which we can use to guess at the meaning of words and fill in the blanks. So number one. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm blank. It might be something like silly. Uh, I'm guessing it might be something like silly. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank I'm, you. I'm guessing it might be something like silly. Right. I'm guessing it might be something like silly. So these are expressions which we can use to guess at the meaning of words. <laughs> so. I'm guessing it might be something like silly. Uh, oh, hi, Leo. Welcome. Um, okay. How are you? Hi, nice. I'm great. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Quick introduction. Where are you from? Uh, uh, I'm from Beijing, China. Mm, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, about uh, this question. Uh, num Number two. Hello, um, Leo. We I cannot hear you now. Number two. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, from from the context, the word probably has a negative connotation. From okay. the context, that's right. That's it. Good job, Leo. Thank you. I hear your answer, yeah. but there was some delay, some uh, disconnection. But that, that's fine now. From the context, the word probably has a negative connotation. Uh, Fourteen. No. Number three. Okay. Uh, it looks like it might be a noun. It looks like it might be a noun. Yes. Oh, sugar. So yeah, this uh, actually <laughs> uh, looks like it might be a. It has to be a singular noun and. Uh, Ironically, it is noun. Um, well, 
coincidentally perhaps so Lee number four <coughs> okay number four uh, it is uh, if I had if I had to if I had to guess if I had to say guess. it means another language yeah if I had to guess okay. it means another language this is really confusing but you guys are doing really great these are so joy number five Good job, your advanced student. Yes, it rings bell. Actually, doesn't rings it mean nonsense? Yeah, that's it. So we can say it rings a bell. That means it. Um, I recognize it. I've heard it before. It rings a bell. I remember that. It rings a bell. It's like. This means I, I remember or I, I, I recognize that. Doesn't it mean nonsense? Gibberish means nonsense? Yes, it does. That's right. Uh, so, can you think of any other expression that you might be useful when guessing a word? I think we have enough expressions, but um, do you want to... Um, joy. Did I just speak to you? Yes, I wonder. Um, I wonder. Yeah, I wonder. Uh, this might be something like that. Let me guess. Yeah, let me guess. Let me Does guess. Does it mean something? Like let me guess. Yeah, you could say let me guess. Uh, uh, yeah, I wonder. I wonder if this means do, 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 something. <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah. Great job. So we have a lot of phrases there. So make guesses about the word using the sentences below. <sighs> I, uh, okay, Cece. Okay, uh, his suggestion was absolutely preposterous. Pre 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 preposterous. Preposterous. Uh, proper, proper, yeah. Preposterous. I don't know what they were thinking. First, uh, it's uh, it seems like uh, uh, it uh, looks like uh, uh, adjective. Yes. Um, yeah. Good. His suggestion was, uh, and uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'm guessing. Uh, it's a negative uh, word because mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't know what he was thinking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it uh, means uh, uh, it means like uh, a nonsense or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good guess. That's a good guess. Preposterous. Preposterous. Yeah. So also we might look at the ending of the word like like another student sorry I forgot who it was but they said ish they look at the end of the word and think of other words like in this case it's us uh, as in preposterous <laughs> so does that that suffix does that have a meaning um, enormous famous dangerous so it's something to do with the, the nature of something so don't know if that really helps us but um, it's an adjective so those are all adjectives when you add us so that's good okay what does it mean it's not 100% clear but it could be like nonsense um, so I'm gonna Leo what do you think uh, use the phrases to her hmm. you know, make a guess uh. Uh, okay, from the contest, uh, I, I think uh, pre uh, preposterous is a negative word because uh, he don't know what he was thinking. Uh, so mm -hmm. I'm guessing its meaning is uh, uh, nonsense uh, or no meaning, meaningless. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good, good job, good answer. Faustine, what what do you think? <laughs> Uh, I I think uh, for the con contest uh, it means uh, a, mm. a 
this this word is the adjective. Maybe it's crazy for the mm. thinking, mm. or uh, strange for for something. Nonsense. Uh, maybe maybe crazy. All right. Good um, good guess, Lee. What do you think? Uh, okay. <coughs> And uh, I will say uh, about this about this word. Uh, from it is the settings. Uh, from the context. From it is, yeah. From it is the context. From the context. I from its context. From the context. I guess, yeah. Okay, you go. Yeah. So you should say from the context. You don't need to say from its context. Well. That also could be correct, but from the context is is okay. That's correct. From the context, go ahead. What do you think? You can use from the context. Oh, man. Um, I can't hear you. I've forgotten who I'm talking to as well. Lee. Hello. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm done. I'm done. Thank you. I didn't hear your answer. It was on mute. Your microphone was mute. Okay. Okay, I say uh, about this about this word. From it is uh, context. I, uh, I'm guessing it is. Uh, um, we can uh, mm. go ahead. Go ahead. I, I'm trying to help you. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Yeah, I I'm guessing it is uh, it is uh, it means it means uh, not uh, good words. Yeah, maybe some uh, uh, some bad words. Yeah. Okay. Negative words from the context. Um, it's a it's a negative word. Okay. Thank you very much. I was just trying to help you, Lee. Uh, don't say from it is context um, when you can say from its context or you can say from the context but not it is uh, yeah so not it is okay got it uh, got it thank you thank you that's all right I'm trying just trying to help you sometime I apologize if I interrupt I just think oh I can help you there but maybe um, I shouldn't interrupt. Sorry about that. Um, joy, I'm, a, I'm really sorry, guys. I can't remember if I've, yeah. So Joy, what do you think? Did I ask you already? I don't know, I'm not. Uh... No. <laughs> sorry, uh, what do you think? It's okay. Uh, I think this uh, preposterous yeah. means uh, something uh, a kind of uh, idea, but this idea couldn't be understood by the others. Yeah, um, it's a suggestion, so it's uh, yeah, and it's it's something negative because people couldn't understand it. Um, and the sentence they use absolutely. Mm. Um, it's a strong word so the preposterous is something strongly negative yeah. uh, and Absolutely. Um, uh, Absolutely. that's all yeah okay great well done joy so what is the meaning is it gonna tell us okay. it means basically ridiculous if you don't know what ridiculous mean it means like stupid in simple words it's just a stupid idea a stupid suggestion uh, absurd um, yeah ridiculous okay so we can we can get a general idea of the meaning right but maybe not exact meaning but when you when you see these words in many contexts then you can work out the, the the exact meaning usually you know the more context you have the, the better the, the understanding of the meaning that's how we l learn our first language 
you know from you hear your mom and dad say the word you hear on the, the, the cartoon and then eventually in your head you build up the the meanings of these words from different contexts we don't yeah right that's how you learn your first language and I think that's how you should learn your second language um, so let's play a game you will see a word in context the student who makes the closest guess wins one point so number one we'll start with CC because I'm gonna give go around this way left to right CC oh, you, you can go first my mouse is not <coughs> working so can you read this okay what I can stand about uh, politics is all the backstep uh, backstep that goes on why can't uh, backstabbing mm. uh, why can't they just work together yeah uh, from the Kent um, I can stand about to politics so backstab that goes on well uh, uh, I I'm guessing uh, I'm guessing I can't stand about the politics uh, uh, I'm guessing it's a uh, uh, adjective and maybe it's a negative word. Um, maybe so it means. Uh, oh. You think it's an adjective? Maybe it means the. Do we have? We got the article the. Ah, my my mouse is not. Oh. Working. The backstabbing. It's not. It's, not. it's, it's yeah, a noun. Gerard. Yes, yeah, a gerund. Yeah. It's a gerund. Uh, it's a gerund which. Yeah, so I guess it means what can, what I can stand up and pull this hole. That goes on. Mm. Uh, I think it's a negative word, and maybe it means. Uh, uh, it means. Uh, how to say? Uh, it means uh, uh, something like a uh, uni, or I, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Just that. guess. I'm guessing. Something like what? Something like a uni. Uni. Uni or yeah, you uni. Uh, maybe work together or something like yeah. Union, but is that a negative thing? Maybe, maybe you don't like unions. That's that's fine. Great. It's a, a good a good guess ah my mouse is not working thank you i can't press oh leo disconnected it's okay i will come back to leo in a moment faustine my mouse is is not working okay, okay. Uh, i can i can hear you clearly yeah good but it's my yeah, mouse uh, uh, no my microphone is fine okay okay but i can't click yeah, on. Yeah. Uh, go ahead Okay, uh, I can control my my microphone. Good. Yeah, Thank from you. the context, I I think is uh, is uh for cooperation. It means cooperation. Maybe, cooperation. Why do you think? Why do you <laughs> think that? Cooperation. Cooperation. Because uh, cooperation. Yeah, cooperation. Or cooperation. It means two people together to build the uh, business. Okay. So, so why? It's uh, cooperation. What? Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. Because I I think for the for the uh, beginner is the policy. Policy is uh, I think it's for the Politics. rule or or something. Okay. Uh, so. Rule. Oh yeah. Okay. For the regulation for something. Yeah. Yeah. So what? What I can't stand about politics is all the backstabbing that goes on. Why can't they just work together? So it's kind of opposite to what you're saying, really. So why can't they work together? So why can't they cooperate? Why can't they work in a so what I can't stand, what I don't like is the backstabbing. So it sounds like opposite to working together, right? So Lee, 
What do you think? Uh, please, could you unmute your mic? Thank you. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, okay, this sentence, I think, uh, uh, I think this word, uh, back, backstabbing, backstabbing, backstabbing. It means some uh, back, back, backstabbing. Yeah. Backstabbing. Okay, and uh, I think uh, it uh, it means some uh, some uh, some persons some persons say some bad words mm. uh, or do some bad things uh, for for his uh, opposite for his uh, politics uh, politic uh, opposite. Yeah, that sounds opposite. Yeah, opposite. Like that, like uh, like. Uh, uh, maybe yeah, maybe maybe this person, um, if uh, maybe this person just uh, uh, yeah, that's talk a... to talk to the per talk yeah okay talk okay. to another person. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So let me. So what you're trying to say is someone speaks about another person behind their back about yeah they talk about talk bad about someone behind their back <laughs> I think I just kind of gave you the answer what do you think Joy can you unmute your mic please I will try to fix my mouse I've got a spare mouse but I <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> it's okay um, I think the backstabbing means someone step yeah someone else mm -hmm. from their back yeah, in the back, right? But, and but you mean since there is a ING and yeah, so yeah, so, so it means the you get the, the process of the move. So if we yeah. yeah, stabbing like means with a knife. So actual the actual back stabbing would be the stabbing text. them in the back, but we don't mean literal. This is more of a metaphorical backstabbing yeah so that means a kind of move that will attack someone without their notice yeah right that's it you got it so I um well I guess Joy gets the point but she kind of has the advantage that she has to listen she listened to everyone <laughs> else before so <laughs> it's a bit unfair but um I yeah. <laughs> uh, let me fix my mouse. Okay, uh, Leo, what do you think? Well, I think we've already got the answer. <laughs> to, um, so. Yes, uh, my classmates uh, have said a lot. Yeah, they. Uh, kind of... First, I, I want to explain uh, about politics. Uh, there are full yeah. of cheat and uh, yeah. uh, scam. So, yeah. backstabbing means someone. Uh, in front of you, may, maybe they praise you, and uh, yeah. after you, you, they may hurt you, make uh, rumors, make rumors. Yeah. That's the backstabbing means. Yeah, you got it. Okay, Leo, you get the point. <laughs> Sorry, everyone else, <laughs> but we all kind of, the last person to speak has a, an advantage, I think. But anyway, yeah, so Leo made a good point. The key thing here is politics. So you think about, okay, what is politics like? It's, it's, there's a lot of that in politics. Is they, they criticize someone for doing something bad to someone else while they pretend to support them in front of their face. Like in front of them, they are their friend, but be, behind their back, they are stabbing them in the back. They are backstabbing, you know? So... I think we it's great we 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 worked it out as a group we've as a union <laughs> so I'm gonna go to Faustine but really I should uh, yeah let's just change the order a little mm -hmm. <laughs> number two is it my turn <laughs> yeah 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 let's start with you okay, this time okay but then we're gonna uh, the here. conversation at dinner last night was hardly uh Sydney Scintillation. 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 Yeah. Uh, scintillation. Mm. 
I always feel asleep in my chair. <laughs> I think it's the adjective. Yes. It's hardly is it a adjective. Yeah. It means a boring. Scintillating. You think it's, it means oh, you think no, it means boring? May, uh, no, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, it's hardly. understanding. Hardly means. It's hard hardly understanding. means. Hardly means not. So you think it means not boring. I almost yeah. fell asleep in my chair. Hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. About not that? interesting. Uh, not interesting. But but hardly. It's hardly maybe. It's, I I think I'm going to refresh the class just a second. I still can't. Um, Okay, sorry about that. Hope, oh my goodness. So, what is technical issues, you know? It's, that's life. So, uh, Faustin says that it means not interesting. I think it's interesting. You, yeah. It's interesting or uh, for, uh, is uh, understanding. Interesting or understanding. Okay, good guess. So, interesting. So interesting, Lee. What do you think? Uh, okay. Yeah, um, I think. Uh, uh, I think uh, it uh, like uh, the boring, boring or uh, okay. boring means. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because but, from the. Uh, okay. okay. You Don't go. You? Uh, so hardly means not. It was not scintillating. So that you're saying, oh. it, yeah. Oh, oh. So it's the opposite of boring, right? It's just, so let's say it's not boring. Scintillating is something that is not boring because when something is boring, it makes you fall asleep in the chair. So it's not that. It's it's not boring. So what's what's the opposite of boring, Lee? <laughs> what's the opposite of boring? Okay, like, uh, yeah, like uh, as uh, Fastin said, maybe interesting. Can you think of another another uh, word? Like, uh, uh, okay, uh, fascinating. Okay, so maybe it means fascinating. So good job, Joy. What do you think? Interesting. Fast. Well, I think the the sentence also <coughs> already explained the meaning that I almost fall fell asleep in my chair. That means the conversation is boring, and since the conversation is boring, the hardly sing scintillating yes, uh, is. Uh, negative expression means boring so uh, something not something boring. not <laughs> doing something boring so so the sting uh, sing tilating means yes. interesting and uh, attractive yeah uh, that will Definitely not gonna make you feel fell asleep. Yeah, okay, good job, Joy. So Cece, let me ask you a different way. Let me ask you what what doesn't make you feel bored? What is what is something think of something that you listen to that doesn't make you feel bored and how would you describe that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. From the context, I'm guessing uh, he's lovely or attractive. Yeah. Loud. Yeah. Loud. Uh, lovely. Oh, lovely. 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 Okay. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. Do you think lovely would fantastic? Fantastic. Yeah, maybe fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. And finally, Leo. Maybe. I uh, Leo, last but not least. Any oh. mm, scintillating. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
scintillating means exciting, I, I think. Yeah, okay. Exciting. So, out of all the answers, I think exciting is the closest. Um, yeah, so the actual meaning according to this is bright, brilliantly, and excitingly clever. So, it's hard to find the exact meaning from the context, but we got a kind of meaning, right? We're almost there. And the uh, Leo says exciting. But yeah, so it's. We knew it wasn't boring. It's something brilliantly and excitingly clever. For example, um, the audience loved his scintillating wit. Maybe he's a, like a comedian, and but very brilliant and excitingly clever, or maybe a scientist. Okay, well, I don't know. I think we are gonna run out of time if we if we continue so oh I thought there was gonna be a conversation but I guess it's hard to make a conversation how, how can we make a conversation about this well um yeah it's a shame I mean we're getting to speak <laughs> and I've just given you the answer so um yeah overzealous Faustine uh, he's a little overzealous at times, but otherwise, he's a splendid addition to the team. Hmm, what do you think the meaning is? He is a big but otherwise, he's spent at the time to the... Uh... At time, maybe... Uh... He an addiction to the team. Uh, I think it's uh, disorganized. Maybe, maybe it means disorganized. Okay, okay. Faustine Lee, what, <laughs> what do you, what do you think? Yeah, it's hard to know. Uh, okay, I think. Do you think it's a negative word? Uh. uh. Okay, uh, let me think. Uh, he's a little. Okay, uh, uh, okay. Um, sorry, I don't. I don't have uh, an idea. Yeah. Mm, no idea at all. Do you think it's a negative word? He is a little overzealous at times, but otherwise, he's a splendid addition to the team. So splendid it means, let's say, good, <laughs> right, just to simplify it. So we've got the word but, so do you think it's a negative word or a positive? Mm -hmm. uh, positive, I think. Positive. But, so this is positive, splendid addition to the team. So if we use but, that means it's the opposite, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Negative. So, so it's negative. So over there, we, we know it means negative. And negative for what? Negative for being part of a team. So maybe what do you think is a, what do you think is someone that is a good member of a team and what is someone that is not a good member of a team? Uh, you know, a characteristic that is not good not for a team player. What is a characteristic that is not of someone who is not a good team player, what characteristics do they have? <laughs> and we can also overzealous. So over suggests too much of something, too much zealous. What is zealous? Um, so we got zeal and us. What is zeal? <laughs> Um, what do you think, Joy? It's hard to work out what the meaning of zeal is, but have a guess. Yeah, I think zeal may mean something positive, uh -huh. and overzealous may something negative because there yeah. is too there is too much of this. Right. And uh, uh, he he is a splendid addition to the team. Uh, so he's a good 
element uh, or he he's doing good for the team. Uh, so uh, he is doing great. He just a little bit overzealous. Uh, mm -hmm. Then that will be a little a little exaggerate mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. uh, a little yeah exaggerated. Uh, not sure. That's a good yeah. idea. So a little like exaggerated, like wow, it's just a bit over exaggerated with his words or his actions. What do you think, CC? Yeah, uh, from the context, uh, I think it's uh, uh, adjective and uh, negative. Uh, and negative. Yeah. Yeah, uh, because. Over. Uh, over, over means, mm. uh, uh, over means we don't need uh, it uh, too more or too much. Yeah, mm, it means and too much. So, so uh, I guess, over, yeah, overweight. I guess, I'm guessing it's, uh, yeah, over enthusiastic, maybe. Yeah, right, good, good. Uh, that's great. Enthusiastic, Leo, what do you think it means? Exaggerated, enthusiastic. What do you think? Yes, I agree with my classmate's <laughs> opinion. Uh, first, uh, <laughs> it, they have explained uh, a lot uh, over sellers. Sellers, um, uh, it must be a negative, uh, a positive word, but over mm -hmm. uh, it mm -hmm. uh, is a negative word. Yeah. So I agree. Uh, it means is enthusiastic. Yep, yeah, you're right. So I'm gonna give you all. Everybody gets five points. <laughs> you all get. You all get a star. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Well done. You all. Everybody. Everyone gets a star. <laughs> There's no winner here. We are all working out. We are trying our best, and I think that deserves points. We are trying our best, and we are learning from each other. Uh, so it means too enthusiastic. We got it. It's brilliant. So yeah. So when we use over, it turns a positive into a negative. It's like too much, right? Overzealous. Over. Mm. So today we guessed the definitions of difficult words. Before you go, what's your favorite word in your native language and in English? Wow. Well, let's continue. Uh, Faustine. English. Yeah, do you have a okay. favorite language in, um, in Chinese? Ah, uh, sorry, a favorite word? <laughs> do you have a favorite, uh, favorite word? Favorite word in Chinese or in, in English? Yeah, you can... Well, I don't know if saying in Chinese is much... Let's stick to English. <laughs> I don't know if... Um, okay, English. And then uh, at, favorite we have time. Word, we... I think it's... Okay. In fiction, because I think in fiction is means um, very uh, for for the it's the positive where it can push me uh, uh, push me to finish my uh, hard decision or something hard hard uh, test. Yeah, in efficient. In 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 fiction. Yeah, yeah, efficient, efficient, efficient. Uh, yeah, you mean in the, it's like this word is used in the business sense, business language. Okay, efficient. Yeah. Uh, great. Uh, Lee. Uh, yeah. Uh, if I choose uh, why my favorite words in 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 English, I choose the uh, uh, freedom. Yeah, freedom. I like uh, this word because uh, yeah, I like free. Yeah, freedom. I like it free. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think yeah. yeah. Thank you. Envision. Did you, let me write this down because I I'm still I'm not sure if you mean envision because that is I like this word too um, because. Um, and also, let's write down. Oh, sorry. Why is it wrong? Envision, not envision. Envision. Right? Envision. Envision. And freedom. 
great let's ask joy and then we'll come back and talk about these if we have time <laughs> do you envision okay. freedom mm, my favorite mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> well i love freedom but uh, there is no such a thing in a uh, real life uh, um, it's a um interesting point yeah, everything has their limitation, and uh, if we don't have this limitation or rules, we will lost our freedom. So it's a, mm. a, a psychological. Uh, uh, no, I mean it's uh, it's a physical thing. Uh, no, uh, philosophy, philosophical yeah. idea. Right. Uh, and my favorite Chinese word is wei ji. Wei if we ji. translate it into English directly, yes, wei ji. Wei ji. <laughs> yeah, uh, it means crisis. Crisis. Uh, but but it means more than crisis in Chinese. Hmm. Uh, since we have uh, wei and ji uh, in this word, uh, it's a kind of uh, compounding. Uh, it means. Risk. We may have the dangers means we we means dangers we, G. and G means opportunity crisis. Uh, so. so when we facing something challengeable, uh, we we have these dangers to fail. Mm. Uh, it's it's dangerous. It's challenging. It's difficult. Yeah. But we may also have a opportunity to change the situation, mm -hmm. to change the world, to change the, uh, uh, I mean, uh, to have a, a up upgrade Please. ourselves or Please. our country. So, uh, Did I... it means, uh, Did I... yeah. Is that the correct uh, Chinese word? I wrote, the... I copied this. Yes. <laughs> oh, just... you <laughs> did you learn Chinese too? No, 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 no. I just, I just say, I just say into Google and Google. So maybe my speaking is good because Google recognize this word, <laughs> and uh, yeah, Google. Yeah, it's correct. Uh, says crisis, but I think your explanation is is much better than crisis. I think. Mm, yeah maybe in every it kind of suggests that there's an opportunity so in any kind of uh, difficult situation we should always uh, uh, think of it as an opportunity because we always learn from difficult situations like a like a crisis um, mm -hmm. so therefore um, we are going to learn more from the bad time like a crisis than than the comfortable time we don't really learn much when we are comfortable when we are just watching Netflix yep. and <laughs> we are just sitting at home doing yep. what we love. So we could look at it as an opportunity. So I wouldn't say crisis really describes it that well. So yeah, that's why it's important to learn other languages because we can get a different perspective, you know, of the world. So the Chinese suggest it's a, like a positive thing, right? But uh, crisis to me, it doesn't. Well, it, it's a neutral. Yeah, it's neutral. It's a neutral world in yeah. China. Well, everything is neutral if you think about it. Like there's good and bad in every situation. Um, if you really, sometimes yeah. it's very hard to see the good in the situation. But yeah, like there is. That's the way the world is balanced. Like yin and yang, right? You can't have one without the other. Yes, <laughs> correct. So, but you know, like in the West, uh, like in England, we don't really tend to think like that. But that's the, if, if you do think like that, it, it will help you a lot. Like, nothing is all bad, nothing is all good. It's like, you can't have one without the other. So you need the bad times. You need the COVID-19 and uh, you need the other... Overcome it. Yeah, like, okay, hear me out. That was just an example. But you can think that through and think, like, maybe there are some positive things from it. Like, 
you know, maybe there are lots of positive things. Maybe people have learned a lot of lessons from that. Um, I've lost a student. They're not happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I say, you have to think like that. Otherwise, you would just get depressed. Oh, everything is terrible. You have to think um, maybe there is some good yeah. from it. Um, I think so. Yeah, of course. I would. Uh, we all want to like be happy all the time, and we don't want any crisis or any um, uh, COVID. We don't want COVID. Of course not. And um, people have died, and I don't want people to die. But that has to happen too. I have lost people I love, and I understand it's terrible. That's the worst thing that ever happened to me. But. Um, what if everyone lived forever? The, what will happen? The world will just be so overpopulated. It, it will be like hell. It would just be crazy. And <laughs> yeah, so that is the alternative, right? So uh, thank you, everyone. Yeah. Uh, we have gone a little over time, but um, that's fine. I don't. Yeah, like so. You know, don't feel rude if you have to leave in, in any of your classes. Just to write, I have to go now, sorry. That's fine, you know. Because I like to talk sometimes. Sometimes I don't like to talk. <laughs> but I think it's useful. And this, I love learning languages. And um, I'm very happy I learned this word today. It's very interesting. I think I, I, it makes me want to learn more Chinese. Um but I don't have much time and or reason other than have another perspective on the world. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. find the time. <laughs> yeah, hopefully one day, maybe when I uh, am older and um, have more time and more money. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Uh, thank you, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye, Joy. <laughs> Goodbye, Faustine. Bye, Cece. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Zhu. Bye, Min. Bye, Leo. Thank have, you, teacher. Have a good day. Uh, Goodbye. Thank you. Bye.